In today's video, I will be showing you how to make a decent player model for your Gorilla Tag fan game. And before I start, I'm just going to say sorry for my bad mic, I don't know what's wrong with it. But um, yeah. Anyways, first of all, what you want to do is open up Blender and make a cube, if there isn't one already, but there probably will be. Make sure you just have a cube and you know, delete like the camera and the line. But anyways, first what you want to go do is go into Flashy. You want to do Control 3 while holding on the cube. And it will subdivide it three times. Once you have this cube here, uh, well, it's there I guess. You want to go into Sculpt Mode and you want to select Elastic Deform and change your radius to 225. And you want to click the Y up here so it like do, like replicates it on each side. And then you just want to like grab about here and pull it out a bit. Create like an outcome in for where the mouth is. And you don't want to take your time on this, but I'm not going to take my time because it's just sorry. But once you've got some point shape like that, you just want to change the radius to about 50. And about up here on the face, you want to like push inwards like that to create like a, a bit for the eyes. So just take your time with that. You get something like this. Obviously this looks absolutely terrible. I might just quickly bring this mouth out a bit more actually now because Yeah you should get something like that. Um yeah once you've got something like that, you just want to uh select snake cook and change your radius to fifty if you haven't already. And make sure to take your time here. If you want if you need help seeing like the outlines just click here and turn cavity on so you can see the outlines more clearly. And basically what you want to do now is like make the outline of your face basically so like make the shape of your face. So I'm just gonna like do something simple here. But, you know, like do it like that. As you can see I'm not taking my time whatsoever here. But you will want to take your time, trust me. You do not want to have an outcome like what I'm making. But once you've got the shape of your face, what you want to do there is just like check the sides of it, and you might want to pull this out and make it, and like straighten straighten it up a little bit. Which so is all like mean, I guess. I'm just gonna do that. Oh yeah. Anyways, once you you're satisfied with the like shape of the face and stuff and like all this coming out here, you want to. Select elastic deform, change your radius to 225, and you kind of like, want to go into the y axis and you want to like get near that top and like go like this a bit, just like get rid of the round base of it. You don't really want your base just to be straight round. Maybe you want to go into the x axis and do the same on the sides there, just because like you don't want a very round face to. I'm happy with that, I guess. Obviously, mine looks kind of terrible, if I'm being honest. But hopefully, yours doesn't. That's it. A bit more. But, anyways, once you're satisfied with your head, your face, and stuff, what you want to do there, I mean, you don't have to do this, but click the eyeball so you can't see it anymore. Go into object mode and add another. Cube. You just want to scale it down a bit like that maybe. You want to go to edit mode, select the bottom face, and you want to just like pop, click S and do this a bit just to give it a bit of that roundness. Then you want to screw it down quite a bit, maybe like this much, and then extrude it out a bit, a tiny bit, like probably about that much, extrude it inwards a bit, that's what might make it a bit longer actually, then you want to extrude a bit inwards, then you want to select the top 
face and you want to shoot it out just a tiny bit and then scale it inwards quite a lot, like worry about that much. I'm just going to do it. So, yep. And then you should have something like this. And then what you want to do then is control, or wait, go into object mode, select it, control 2 to subdivide it twice. And then do not apply yet because we're going to go into edit mode and like do a simple little shape here. So like you can flatten it down a bit here. Worry about that much, that should be fine. I wanna like do that bit to make it a bit longer, but I'm gonna leave it like that. And then you want to maybe go into the loop cut and just try and select the middle part. Once you get that middle part, you just wanna like Scale it out a bit, make it a bit fatter, probably about that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. And if oops, and if you want, you could go into base selection and um grab some of the faces and like do not do not extrude it, like push it inwards a bit if you want. Like an inwards part of the stomach, but I don't know why anyone would want that. But then what you want to do is just grab all the back faces and push it forward a bit so it's not just like one massive round body. Like it needs to be kind of slim so probably about that should be fine. And we're going to leave it like this for now. Like maybe you might just want to push it inwards a bit like that. Just to like, yeah that should be fine for now. Um, yeah once you should, we're going to leave it like this for now so just Go into object mode, apply. We, we will come back to the body to make it a bit better later. Wait, actually in fact, um, I'm not the best at bodies, this is, it is one of the hardest parts to do to be fair. But we're just going to make the body better. So you want to enable your head again and like get it to the a, a right size to fit your model. Obviously mine's kind of terrible. In fact, I forgot to do something. So disable the body, we're going to go back to the head and we're going to go into sculpt mode because I forgot to do something. You want to select elastic deform and you just want to grab here and like bring it outwards like this to get that kind of bit where you'll connect the body to like us in it. So I like, just bring it outwards a bit so you can see where the body will be connected to the head. Obviously take your time with this, but for the sake of the video, I'm not going to. So obviously that's pretty terrible, but take your time I guess. And anyways, once you've done that, we're going to go back onto the body, get it to about the right size you want it to be, and like, put it next to where you want it to be. And just to make it look a bit better, we're going to go into edit mode, and you're going to go on, sorry, uh, line selector, and you're going to hold, hold, and click here. Sorry about that. Um, and then you want to just bring that upwards so it creates like a kind of neck connecting your body. Maybe you might want to move that a bit like that. That should be fine. And now what we're going to do is actually hold up. Might just make my body a bit thinner. Actually, no, that's fine. Alright, now we're going to try and make our body look a bit better if you're not very good at bodies i'm sure you could probably find some servers that have some free body models you could use but if you have this um you could try and make your body look a bit better but um it's kind of hard we probably should have done that at the start you could try your best to make the body look better but for this video i'm gonna leave it like this so obviously take your time with the body and stuff uh join my discord server linked in the description and you want to go to my server and you want to go to the free models category and go to free arms and download this this right here then you want to go back onto blender file import fbx download and then you want to find the arms so there it is here. and import it and then once you've got them imported, you want to size it down. Not that much, probably. Get it to a good size, so probably, like, 
that maybe. And then you want to bring it close to the middle of the body like that. That might be a bit too big, but like I'm saying, for this tutorial, I'm just going to give you free arms and hands because it saves a lot and these are completely free to use, so you don't have to worry about credits or anything, but you can look at some other tutorials to try and get some better arms. But I'm sure it helps to just have some free arms, I guess. I mean, they're decent. Once you've got your arm like this, I'm going to click Add Modifier, Generate, Mirror, and you want to click on there, click the body, click Y, and then click X, and then Apply, and then you have your arms in the right position, and that's pretty good. And yeah, once you're satisfied with like the position and everything, I'm going to go back to my Discord server, linked in the comments by the way, if you didn't hear me the first time somehow. I'm going to go to free models, free hands, and download the hand at VX. I'm going to go back to Blender, file, import, FPX and find the hands somewhere well. and import the hands of course. Oh, they don't worry spawn like very far. Sorry about that. Once your hand is in you want to pull it over here and size it down obviously. So you can click S to size down first. And then position it right however you want it to be. Not arm. I think that should be fine. And then you want to do the same thing for the arms, so add modifier, generate, mirror, click here, back on the body, Y, get rid of the X, and then apply. And then you have your hands. Mine are a bit too big, I think, but it's alright. God, this flame was ugly. Please take your time with the body, I did not take my time whatsoever. So, yeah. Anyways, once you've got the hands, you're pretty much set, but um, basically what you want to do now, this is optional, you don't have to add this, but I'm going to show you how to add a tail to your thing. So first to do, you need to make a cube, bring it down here, make it way smaller, so let's put it down, probably about that, put it in the spot, put it about there. Uh, then you just want to grab, uh, add it, uh, extrude it, like so, a little bit like that maybe. And then you want to rotate it a bit, just like that. I'm not taking my time at all, so this kind of looks very ugly. And then once you're done, uh, you want to subdivide it. And then got a tail I guess. I mean it's very subdivided. And you want to apply that. God damn this player model's ugly. But anyways, once you've done that, you could probably leave it here, but I'm gonna show you one more thing just to add some more detail which will make it look way better. I'm gonna make a cube. This is an air oh, if you know. And then you wanna uh subdivide it with control V, control three. And then you want to just like size it with the red scale, like make it very skinny like that. Then what you want to do then is you want to just apply real quick. We're going to edit mode. Select these faces. Um, yep. Then you just want to uh, push it inwards. Probably like that much. Should be fine. Then you want to extrude it in a bit, and like S it a bit. And you've got like an ear shape. Then you want to go back to sculpt mode, select elastic keyform, radius 225, and then maybe just like do that a bit to give it more of a shape. There. Take your time, I guess. And once you're satisfied with the shape of the ear, you want to go into object mode, um, pull it over to the side of your face. And you want to size it down to however big you want it to be, I guess. And put it wherever you want it. Just for me, I'm going to make it a bit thicker, actually. Then you want to... In fact, maybe you just want to go in edit mode, click here, and just, like, delete some of the faces. 
just to make it easier, I guess. So, yeah, just delete those spaces, go back into object mode, solid mode, and place the air inside where you want it to be positioned. And, and maybe you want to rotate it a bit, if you like, so it's like that. Then you want to do what you did for the arms and stuff, where you go, um, mirror, click here, select the face this time, Y, get rid of the X, and apply. So now you're pretty much done with the model, so what you want to do now is add the textures. So what you want to do is select all this, join it together, then you want to, um, Go to here the materials and make sure you have it all selected. Click new, base color, image texture. If you want to see the color, obviously click here. Then you click open, download, and then find your color texture. And then you want to go to UV editing because it, it's probably going to look a bit weird. Select everything by clicking A. And click A here. Then you want to click UV, unwrap. Why you do project, and then you want to um, maybe size it up a little bit, probably like that much. So you have like a fur texture like this. And once you've done that, you want to go into edit mode and select all the faces you want your or your body's fur to be. I'm I'm gonna do this. I might keep those actually. I'm going to select these, then you just want to click the plus here, assign, new, base color, image texture, open, and go to your downloads or wherever you put your textures, and find the texture you want to use for your stomach. Don't mind my textures, my textures are just really bad, so don't use a bad texture like this. Alright, once you've added your body texture, you just want to select the faces of where your face is going to be. And then you want to click the plus, um, assign new face color image texture, and find your face texture you're going to be using, which I'm going to be using this one. And then once you've got it, it's going to look weird like this, so you just want to go into UV editing, right click, unwrap, and then it should look a lot better, but you want to do one more thing, which is to uh, maybe size this down a bit. And like center the face in the middle of these faces here. I'm just gonna do so something a bit bigger. Yeah. And it should look something like this. I don't know if you you might have another face section that looks like this. But if you don't and it looks alright, you're you're done then obviously. But mine looks like this, so I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So what you wanna do is go into edit it, edit mode and then you want to select these faces so. and then you want to go over down here and select the knife tool and then be careful of this because this actually like makes good so you, you probably want to want to have a little black outline maybe so like right above here leave some space over it so you can keep a little black outline if you want but you just want to carefully cut around the like shape of the face and yeah, take your time with this so you don't mess up or anything. But uh, I'm just gonna speed the video so you get there to watch me do this. Okay, so once you're done, and if you wanna just get off this, you just click space. And basically what you wanna do is um, go into face selection and select all of these faces around the um, like shape of the face. Select all of those. And then you just want to click on your this first one here. You want to click it assign, so then it's the same as this. And I made my face <laughs> a little bit small, way smaller than I should have. So mine looks a bit wrong. But hopefully you will looks better. And basically, yeah, that's how you make a player model for your Grotech fan game. Hopefully you took a lot more time with yours than I did because I made my body and face a bit bad. And this tail just kind of 
low effort as well. But that's how you add a player model, that's how you make a player model in Blender for your Girls Like Fan game. Anyways, thanks for watching, and goodbye.